Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Diablo 4. I'm Captain Beefy, this is the Game Vault, and we're going to look at Helltide events, and uh, I'll go over some of the nuances about what you do in those and the rewards you can collect from them. So let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. Alright, first off, if you look right next to the map on the upper right hand corner, you'll see Helltide with a duration. There are 39 minutes and change left right now. They run for about an hour. And they usually run every other hour, so it'll be an hour on, an hour off. And they're pretty cool. They, um, the, you have a goal. You see the little uh, diamond shape on fire. You're going to collect stuff to fill that up there. And I'll show you what we're talking about here in just a second. But almost every creature you kill. I'm not ready yet. Let's get it up there. So you see the aberrant cinders? That's what we're collecting. And we use those to open up special boxes that are only located in the Helltide event. Now you don't want to die during one of these events because if you do, here's one of the boxes right there. Tortured Gift of Leg Guards. So they all have different names. There's one that is uh, a box, a mystery box or something like that it's called. We will come across it. And when we do, I'll show you what we're talking about exactly. But they will give you some great gifts. I'm on uh, World Tier 3, so usually I get some um, sacred items in there. You know? So lots of good stuff popping up in there. There has been some minor changes to my character. You'll notice I'm running a barrier quite a bit. I lack the need but we'll talk about that in a different uh, time. I need more time. Out of mana once again. Alright, let's just finish this group off here. This is a great way to collect cinders, is doing these events if you come across them. You're going to want to take advantage of them. I need more time. The nice thing about events is very often you're going to have people join you, especially in the Helltide event. Everybody likes to come around for one of these to go cinder hunting. I lack the need of money. All right, so we got lots of goodies in there. You get more cinders out of the boxes there. Sometimes you can get them off of. Uh, plants that you locate, and there's another type of plant, and hopefully you will come across one of them. Now, I've seen some guys run around on horseback and just collect cinders. I guess they're hanging out where other guys are playing, doing events or whatever. I don't know exactly what they're doing. I haven't really tried that yet. Might be a lucrative way to do it. I might try that differently, and if it works out to be really uh, good then that's the direction I'll go. But you see, I didn't do anything there. And look at all this. I mean, just tons and tons of cinders all over the place. I need time to do that. Why am I freezing so much? I'm out of mana. Good place to get gold. We're getting all kinds of yellow items. Look at that, more cinders over here. You know, 
Watch out for those falling meteors, they will hurt you. I lack the needed mana. Oh, there's another chest down here. So this is the one, the Tortured Gift of Mystery. So we're going to want to remember where this is. Okay, specifically right there. And when we get 175, we're coming back to it. Because that's going to get us a great drop. Well, potentially a great drop. You know, of course, there's no guarantees. Oh yeah, you can literally run around here for an hour and collect all that you can, and then trade it in. Now, oh, here it is. This is a Fiend Rose. So you see we got three Fiend Roses in that. You need that for some higher-end crafting, so you're definitely going to look for those. And you saw it also drop some Cinders, which is great. Very, very helpful. I recommend hitting up these events whenever you see them. They are very valuable. Looks like this event just ended here, we just missed it. But we can still benefit from tons of cinders, see? It's friggin' awesome. So we've only been doing this for six minutes and we're almost at the 175. <laughs> so it's going pretty quickly. In fact, let's do some of this and see. See, we can just run around. I need time to do that. We're letting other people do the work. It's kind of cheesy to do this, but why not? I mean, jeez. I need time to do that. Alright, I got knocked off the horse. close to where that uh, chest was, so we're going to work our way back that direction here. Hopefully we get as many as we need before we get there. If not, we'll stay close to that area. It's like I said, you do not want to die or lose your cinders. That's frustrating. Or half of them. We still need seven more. I need time to prepare that. Here again, looks like we got a big group over here. I think that's going to give us, yep, we got our 175. So let's go down and collect that box. I'll show you what we get inside there. Usually a pretty good drop. See, we got three sacred items that are uh, legendary. Bunch of uh, potions or elixirs. So, yeah, that's fantastic. And we did that all in less than ten minutes. So if you if you do it right and you kick some butt and you travel around a little bit. Now, the Hell Tides take over two sections, as you can see, right? And I believe we're going to find another chest up in the other area. So we're going to head up to that other one. I think we'll find another mystery chest up there. We'll look for it at least, see if we can clear out two of them. 
If we can clear out two of them, that'll be fantastic. Now, Helltide events, the, uh... The, uh, thingies do not carry over from one to the next, so if you don't use them, the cinders, they will not be in your inventory for your next Helltide event, so you may as well use them up if you can. Uh, different things cost different amounts, so... You know, you may only have 75 left. Look for a chest. You know, when you find these chests, kind of note how much they cost. And remember them, because you're going to want to come back to them. I'm not ready yet. I'm low on precious mana. Cleared up up here, I cleared up down there. Bunch of dead ones here, but nothing we can touch. Cinders there. This hasn't been a very lucrative run. I need time to do that. Gotta get our barrier. There we go. Back up to what 32, so you know we got a decent amount there. That wasn't the best, most lucrative uh, event, but it was okay. I'm low on precious mana. Creatures are definitely a little beefier than uh, regular creatures. You know, this is basically hell breaking into Sanctuary and all the demons spilling out for an invasion. At least that's the lore behind it. You can understand what's going on better. That's it, huh? Yeah, this area is definitely not feeling as lucrative. Not nearly as lucrative as that first one. noticed any uh, chest yet. I think the cheapest chest is 75 to open, I believe. I could be wrong. Oh, there's a chest. Let's go around and find out what that one is. Let's 
Sounds like there's a lot of dudes down here too. Uh, chest armor so we'll look to get 75 and then hit that one up just so you can see the difference of what you get from one chest to another Bunch there. Ten more to go. I need time to do that. We get a decent amount here. Yep, make that five more to go. There's another chest. We'll take a look and see what it is. Handguard, so same cost, 75. Yeah, we want to finish off right there. Yeah, you're going to find lots and lots of... Uh, we need two more, huh? Lots and lots of interesting drops in here. Better than your normal drops out in the wild. Not nearly as good as doing nightmare dungeons or anything like that, but... I think these are fun events. Alright, so let's go look at the handguards. You know, offer the cinders, use us with three. That's exactly what we had left last time, right? So as you can see, we only got one out of there. Ha. Huh. And we have too much crap. It's alright, we'll dump a couple things. Grab that and that, and then we'll head on home. We're done. That's all I'm going to do. I mean, normally I'd stick around and farm the crap out of this, go trade in some of that stuff, or just drop some of it, and keep going. But for now, for the sake of this video, we're done. So a total of 18 minutes, we opened two chests, we gathered a total of what, 175 and, 175 and 75, so 250, not too shabby. Um, we got ourselves a sacred legendary helm, that looks pretty solid, we'll have to take a look at that thing. Uh, legendary focus, I don't use a focus, so we got two of those. When deep freeze is active, exploding ice spikes form in the area, ooh. An interesting uh, thingy. And we got ourselves a set of gloves. You deal 29% more damage to immobilized stunned or frozen enemies. That would actually work very well with my build. I'm going to have to look at a couple of these pieces to see exactly how they'll fit into my build. Well, if you found this useful at all, let me know down in the comments uh, what you think of Helltide events. Do you participate in them? Like I said, I highly recommend them. They're a lot of fun and they can be lucrative, you know. Now, if you're at the highest level of Diablo 4, you should be watching my videos anyway. This is more geared toward the casual player. Um, but go ahead, leave a like on the video down below. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. I'm looking to hit 1,000 thousand subs as soon as possible, and I appreciate any and all support that you give. I will see you next time. Until then, peace.